Welcome guys in this new lecture of AWS AI ML lab series. In the last lecture we performed lab 3.2 and in today's lecture we are again going to see what we have got in lab 3.3. So this is AWS AI ML series from AWS AI ML Academy course. Let's click on the console and see what we have got. So here we have got AWS Amazon SageMaker and today's task is to learn how to encode categorical data. In the last lecture we saw how to start lab, how to perform things. So I'll skip those part today also to save some time. If you want to see how to start lab and how to end lab, how to do the things, how to reach there. Uh, you can see my previous video. So here if you scroll down and see these are the steps. So there is AWS button here. For the time being I have opened these in different tabs. You can see if you are opening it for the first time this is recently visited site. If you are opening it first time then scroll down and go to this machine learning section and there you can find this Amazon SageMaker. So again on Amazon management console, go to service menu, check for notebook instance. We already have done these things in previous two labs. So I have already opened it. You will go to Amazon SageMaker, check out for this notebook instance. And here it is. This my notebook will be automatically created for you. So till now, till this place, you don't have to do anything, uh, anything on your own you have to just follow the steps then click on the open uh, you click on the Jupyter lab notebook instance that also I have already clicked here and from here onwards our job will start so I have to go on this en underscore us folder and this is the file of our importance so let me open this so this is a student notebook as you can see you have first step is to uh, find the kernel that is conda underscore python 3 select it now see this is a student notebook and this is the place where we have to perform our lab session so there are certain instructions written here you just have to go through it so our task is to encode the categorical data so there are two important things one is the categorical data what it is and what are the types of categorical data so it is already written here there are two types we are dealing with one is ordinal and another one is non-ordinal talking about the data set so there is written what is this data set and how many attributes are there so there is one attribute information you can see here and when we scroll down to this when we scroll down to this we see that there are names of the attributes and in total you can see there are 25 attributes here so data set attribution it is written from where the data set has been provided so uh, we can read all these things let's start with our task first task is importing and exploring the data so again we are using pandas there is set underscore option so it will help us to display only those amount of rows columns and width which we are setting here now the second thing is uh, importing the data from URL so uh, now we are importing the data from URL and we saw the 25 attributes they are nothing but the column names so we are specifying that also here then we are using read underscore CSV function and then we are passing this CSV file which is nothing but URL certain parameters are there so let's run this also now it's time to start the data analysis so df underscore car dot shape has got 205 rows and 25 columns let's click on the head and see the top five rows values rows and so head five will give you five rows and all columns values here so there are 25 columns some have got non-numeric values and that is called categorical part let's click on the summary part which we get by clicking on df underscore card dot info so if you see here there are data types written as object these data types are nothing but categorical values you can see also some columns have certain values which are missing so let's see what we need 
so there are four columns in total there are four columns in total which are having object data type that is categorical data type so categorical data type is nothing but anything which is not numeric not int not float that belongs to categorical data type see here we have done dot copy dot copy will not change the original file this method of copying is called deep copy so here we are concerned with these four columns and if you see number of cylinder and number of doors these columns have ordinal values now ordinal means which follows certain order there are some values uh, which follow some order non-ordinal means which do not follow any order so our first thing part is encoding ordinal feature so let's see okay so these are the values now see let's how many number of doors are there for that we are using value underscore count function let me run this so 4 has 114 entries and 2 has 89 entries so what we'll do we'll use dictionary method simply and we'll write 2 for numeric value 2 4 with value numeric value 4 and then we'll replace these two entries and now if we run this you see at last door column has been introduced with numeric values that will be uh, used for calculations similarly we can perform it for number of cylinders also there are value count and again we are using dictionary key value method again we are replacing it and let's run this and see if we use this df card now if you see so again number of cylinders column has been also introduced with non-categorical entries so this is how you encode ordinal categorical data for non-ordinal categorical data we'll be using get dummies function from pandas here which will also do nothing but will introduce one um, easy concept that is called one hot encoding so let's see what this how to use this get dummies so again we'll use the previously done steps first let's check for value count so there are forward reversed and four wd that is again some forward so some guy might have entered it in csv file as shortcut for forward so what we'll do what we have done we have done get dummies here and see now first column is 001 then it is 001 then it is 001 then 010 100 so this is nothing but one hot encoding method it means that the value which is of our importance will get the value as one and all other values will be treated as zero similarly we can perform this uh, get dummies method on another column that is aspiration so let's do that also first we'll check the value counts here so standard has got certain entries turbo has got certain again we'll perform pd dot get underscore dummies drop first equal to two and see here now so again we have got one hot encoding method here and since this was non-credited task non-credited lab so i'm not going to perform the challenge task here but i think you understand what is it and now you can do some coding part here you can click on and learn more things now again we have to go back to the aws SageMaker lab 3.3 steps now let's see if anything is left here so successfully we have encoded ordinal categorical data and encoded non-ordinal categorical data to click on the end lab a message will appear are you sure yes you can click on that and then one tab uh, one message will pop out that resources are terminating you can close it so you can close it again we'll meet in the next lecture and see what we have got in the next lab thank you